Hey everybody, this is your 10 minute stretch if you are an office worker or really just if you are someone who sits a lot of the day. This can be done before you go to work, during your work day or after it. And a lot of what we're gonna be focusing on are the muscles that get very tight from sitting and looking at a computer or hunched over a desk. So you will need a strap for this workout or if you don't have a yoga strap, you can grab a belt, you can grab a t-shirt, a resistance band, just something you don't mind hooking around the bottom of your feet, but let's hop on in. So we're gonna get started in a seated position, any way that's comfortable on your mat. So I like crisscross. I'm going to locate those sits bones, hands carefully draped over the knees as we start to actively drop the head right and left. Now I will put 30 seconds on the clock here. A lot of our focus today is going to be on active versus um, static stretches. So just trying to bring a little bit of full range of motion into the neck here, stretching out the scalenes, the upper traps, which get super, super tight. And then we're going to take a hold each direction. About 10 more seconds, making sure we're not forcing anything, just kind of letting gravity take over. We'll drop it over to the right and hold it. Good, let's drape that right hand on top if that feels good to you. And if you wanna advance this more, you can bring the left arm out, opening through the fingertips. So you should start to feel the entire side of the left part of your neck, your shoulder, really start to open here. Go ahead and make sure the shoulders aren't coming up to the ears. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Carefully res uh, re resetting those hands as we just go right to the other side. And again, with that hand on top of the head, we wanna make sure that we're never tugging, never pulling, just like a little added resistance there. Now this shoulder is nice and depressed. Check in with the opposite one too, the one that has the hand on top. Make sure we're not uh, raising that up to the ear. Keep pulling it down. You've got about five seconds. <sighs> Perfect, and let that go. Bringing the head down to the chest. And back up. So same thing, working through that full range of motion before we head into our holds. So some parts of the body that we're really gonna focus on today, obviously we've got a lot of the neck, got a lot of the upper back. We're gonna focus on the hips really heavily as well and those hamstrings. Three, two, and one. Let's hold the head down. If you want to, you can interlace those fingers and drape the hands on the back of the head. Beautiful, and coming out of that, going the opposite direction, we'll drop the head back. Now I want you to start here, we're gonna take 15 seconds in each, and I'm just gonna turn to the side so you can see. Start with the mouth open. Good. You should kind of feel like a fish. <laughs> and let's close the mouth to get a deeper stretch through the neck. Good, keep on holding right there. Two, and one, beautiful. We're gonna take a big stretch up and over to the right, and up and over to the left. So you're gonna to start to feel this through the obliques, um, through you know the muscles between your ribs, your intercostal muscles. You'll feel your back just a bit. And we're gonna keep this one active right now. Make sure that as we go to the side, that we're not lifting up that opposite hip. We wanna keep both sits bones down on the mat the entire time. Good, and one, beautiful. Bring those feet out in front of you. You're gonna place the hands by your hips, lift those hips up, and walk your hips and feet out away. So we're gonna lean back. You'll feel this in the bicep and a little bit of the chest. So chest usually gets super, super tight because if you think about it, we're sitting forward all day. We're in flexion, hunched over our computers, or our desks, our phones, whatever it might be. Three, two, and one, good. Coming up onto the knees, I want you to bring your palms out and we're gonna press them down in front of us. So holding your tabletop as we start to shift the hips back and forward. So just some reverse wrist rocks. You don't need a huge range of motion here. 
This is a part of the body we always tend to neglect, and I don't know about you guys, but I, I feel like I'm always, I'm always editing something on my computer, so my right hand especially, my wrist really starts to get sore after a while. Good, finishing that out, we'll just come into the opposite direction, little cat paws, put them down, and same thing. So slightly different part of the forearm that we're working, that we're stretching here, equally as important. I know that we do spend a lot of our time in this position, but we do always wanna make sure if we're stretching like a joint one way, we'd wanna do the other one too. Good, you got about five seconds. Beautiful, letting that go. Let's swing the legs out in front of us, flexing the toes. And we're just gonna hold our staff pose. So sitting up nice and tall, locating the sits bones, adjusting our outfit. Good, and just holding. So what I want you to notice here, can you hold yourself up? This is actually way more difficult than we think. Using your core to support you, making sure we don't have to sit back on the hands. I want you to flex the toes up toward you. We're gonna grab that strap in three, in two, and one. So grabbing that strap, let's bring it around the bottom of the feet, and we're gonna pull ourselves forward, flat back, and up. So keeping it active for the first 30 seconds, really making sure that we're hinging from the hips, no rounding forward here. So we wanna keep it nice and flat. Good, you've got five seconds here before we hold it over and I'll let you round down. Good, bring your next one over and you can round it down using that strap if you need to. about halfway through. Good, and carefully bring it up, bringing that strap out to the side. I'm gonna bring my right leg in front, left leg behind for 90-90. So making sure, I'm gonna pause that clock for just a second. We have knee in line with the hip, and then the ankle, and then same thing in the back. So you're gonna have a little space on the side. So we're actually just gonna hold this today holding yourself upright. And I'm trying to push this uh, left hip down toward the mat. It's never gonna touch. You're always gonna have space under here, all right? It's like literally just anatomically how our bodies are built. But keep trying to square your belly button off with your front calf. It's gonna feel crunchy. It's not gonna feel like super enjoyable probably. That most likely means that we're doing it right. Good, bringing the hands to heart center. We're just gonna do a little rotation. So sitting, bringing this hip in, and then back up. So a little internal rotation of that hip. Your glute's gonna start to fire, always a good thing. Good. If you need a little added support, you can always bring your back hand down here, just to make sure that your low back isn't taking over for your core. Good, you have three, two, and one, we'll head to the other side. All right, now there's a lot more that you could do in this 90-90 stretch, but again, we're just trying to get a quick little stretch here in the middle or the start or the end of our workday. Good, so this is definitely my less mobile side. I feel like I always say that when I'm on this side. But start to notice those differences between the two sides of your body and what you do to compensate. I just realized because it's so much tighter on this side, a little bit more stuck, I always clench this back hip. So just try and release that. Let's bring the hands to heart center. Little internal rotation. And up. Ooh. Good, so guys, what we're also trying to do here is kind of um, work through the movement of your SI joint. So as we start to sit a lot, that does get fused toward like the pelvis. <sighs> so we're just trying to bring a little mobility back into these joints. Good, you have four, three, two, and one. Let that go, soles of the feet together for our butterfly stretch. And we're actually gonna bring it all the way over. So I'll turn to the side so you can see. And you can just round it, round it over, relax.
I always feel like when I wear my hair down, I'm like, why would I do that? I look like it's eating my face. <gasps> All right, guys, three, two, one. Let's lift the chest up, walking the hands out long, and then walk them over to the left. Right hand on top, both sits bones are still on the floor. So you're gonna start to feel your low back on your right side open up, as long as you're still pushing that hip down. 15 seconds left here. So we're just trying to get that good QL stretch in. Another muscle that gets super tight from sitting a lot. Keep that chest open as we walk to the other side. Good, I'll turn back over to the front here. So again, we're walking over to the right side this time, left hand on top. Keep that chest lifted, opening up, using the muscles of your back. You've got just about 10 seconds left. Good, and carefully walk the hands back to the center. Roll it all the way up. Give those knees a little windshield wiper and we are all set. Thank you guys again for clicking on this quick little stretch. If you have any questions, you can always leave it in the comments below and I will see you in the next one.